What you guys just witnessed right there was the very first multi-kill with the nade on YouTube. Well, sounded convincing, but I don't know if that's exactly the case, but I'd like to be the first to announce that it was. Alright, so, Battlefield 4 is finally here, right? October 29th, this is the day that it came out for the 360 and the PS3. And this is a fantastic game. Just from the couple of hours that I played today, I can already tell that I'm going to be playing this game a whole lot. Now it's not to say that this game is perfect or flawless or in any way, shape or form the best game out there, but it definitely has that fun factor. Now, if you've never played Battlefield before like myself, the first time I played Battlefield was the beta and I thought that was alone a huge success. A lot of people might not agree with me, especially if you're a veteran of the series, but as a newcomer, as a person who's never played Battlefield before, um, the game really drew me to it. So the fact that I'm playing Battlefield 4, I purchased my very first Battlefield game is just something very special to me and I think it's a great game. It plays really well. The smoothness, the fluidity, you'll definitely feel like your shots actually mean something. I mean, your shots are actually hitting the target when they're supposed to and it's not like lag is going to screw you over. I mean, the last time you felt this kind of smoothness from a Call of Duty perspective was in Modern Warfare 2, right? So playing a game where you know um, it's known for its dedicated servers, good connection, really adds to that and I think this is a fantastic game because it really showcases what type of gun skill you have, right? Over lag, over connection, that sort of thing. So the fact that your bullets hit when they're supposed to is one of the best features so far that I've experienced in this game. And I'm speaking to you guys based off of Team Deathmatch gameplay. I haven't played Conquest, I haven't played Domination, I haven't played Rush, any of those game modes because I was running solo and of course when you're playing with randoms you definitely don't want to rely on them to be playing any objective. So that's why I was running by myself Team Deathmatch just based purely on my own skill on focusing getting kills, right? So that's what I'm bringing you here today. And as far as this team deathmatch session that I had, it was just fantastic. Obviously, I was doing work and for the most part, I was on top of my team crazy even though I haven't played any of the battlefields before. Maybe it could be that a lot of the noobs are getting on for the very first time and that's why I'm you know, doing really well. But other than that, I think I have a little bit of experience. If you played any first person shooter, Call of Duty, Halo, Gears of War, well Gears of War is what, third person, I don't know, you could go first person, anyways, um, any first person shooter or shooter in general experience that you've had definitely can integrate into Battlefield and anytime you just pick up a gun, you know exactly what to do. So it's not all that different from any of these games. So there's no way or no chance that you go into this and you're a total noob if you have first-person shooters in your repertoire. And other than that, I don't have really much else to say about Battlefield 4 except that it's fun. I can't compare it to Battlefield 3 because I haven't really played Battlefield 3. So, if you have had any experience, if you're a Battlefield veteran, please let me know how you would compare the two if you have already played this game. And yeah, with that being said, you know, if you want to change a pace, if you want to play a game that's different than Call of Duty, I would highly recommend all of you guys to pick this up. It definitely is a good way to get away from all that COD BS in those times. So anyways, that's all I have to say. This is OGCP Da Silva, and I am signing off.